Yo, what is going on, guys? I got some finally got some BT13 action for you guys, featuring, of course, my favorite deck, Shine Greymon, and my buddy Kingsley playing Dark Nightmon. So, for all you uh, DK fans out there, this deck is actually kind of cooking this format. I wasn't a big believer, uh, but Kings had to uh, bust it out to show me that this deck can actually do some damage against. Uh, some of the tier 1 decks, maybe that's cope, I don't know, you guys can be the judge. But regardless, we got set up with the uh, double Agumon, Agumon in the back, plus the Agu Searcher from BT12, a really strong searcher there. Being able to grab your Marcuses is pretty important, and then just any Greymon piece, whether it be like your level 4s, 5s, 6s, or 7s, is pretty crazy. So we're going to see just a, a Dark Nightmon to uh, pass the turn here, uh, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, it doesn't really do anything on Evolve, but... Uh, his whole deck floats, which is really, really annoying. So even if I neg it down to zero, um, it does play out. I think it's Skull Knight and Deadly Axe, whatever the two pieces are, um, out from underneath its evolution sources. And then they also get their own plays, which I think both of them search. Uh, so we're just going to go here, Agu X, uh, into um, the Geo Grey here, which Geo Grey actually still can evolve for two on top of Agu X because it is an Agumon with Dinosaur uh, in its type. And then we can just play out the Marcus, spend the Marcus on play uh, to then gain a memory, which I love that play, man. It's so cool just being able to either memory choke your opponent or gaining back an extra memory um, to do some more plays. And then we're just going to minus three, minus two from the Agumon, and then minus three once again from the second Marcus, deleting our opponent's uh, Dark Knight. But of course, it is going to float. Um, into the Skull Knightmon, or the Deadly Axe, I think, um, and then, of course, resolving the Pagu. Uh, nope, we got Skull Knightmon here. Um, it's going to be played out, uh, which doesn't really do anything on field right now. I think that's the BT7 guy that, like, on swing, you, like, stick him underneath the Dark Knight or something like that. The cards will be on screen. Um, but then we got uh, Pagumon in the back, Toyagu, which is a pretty cool card in this deck since it's all about blockers. I can see why the reboot inherited uh, is pretty good since I don't think Twilight really has a way to give reboot any other way, so you kind of just have to hope you draw the Toyagu. Uh, Nene comes down for a cost of three, which I think Nene is probably the best card in the deck, being able to just search any of your pieces, giving all your Twilight and Dark Knights blockers, so having access to just a floodgate blocker effect on your field, like, is, is pretty crazy. Um, and if your opponent does try to delete the Nene to kind of get around that blocker effect um, to deal with your blockers, you just on deletion gain two memory is pretty sick. Uh, then Skull Knight is going to come down here into the breeding um, to pass turn. Uh, that mark is, is the BT13 memory setter, so I'm not really worried about getting memory choked or anything. On on the contrary, we can act actually memory choke our opponent. We're going to go Geo Grey here to then look at security play out of Marcus for free, which, man, that Geo Grey mod is just really unfair. I don't know what they were thinking of making it a TK on Evolve for a, a Tamer, and then the Tamer gets it on play if it has one. It's pretty crazy. Um, this, this deck can really do some shenanigans. I'm just going to go Rise Greymon for three, gaining a memory to pass turn. Um, and it's at this moment, I kind of wasn't respecting Dark Knight, and I kind of got a little bit too lax. And I was just like, huh, it'd, it'd be kind of bad if like my opponent dropped a Death X here, right? We got that was just clear board, we got five things on field, and as soon as my opponent counts out the number of uh, things on the memory gauge, I'm just like, yeah, alright, I, I deserve that one for sure. Um, so Death X still a really good card against Shine if your opponent is not trying to play around it. Um, having multiple Marcuses can just, you know, and you bring out a Death X for so little, it perpetually popping everything. Um, like something every single turn. Devolving, Shine Grey has no devolve protection. Um, not something like War Grey or Alpha. Or actually, actually, Alpha doesn't have dev devolve protection. That's DP reduction. Um, but, you know, like the Metal Grey that perfects, uh, prevents devolving, stuff like that. So, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and this deck, uh, board removal is pretty good. Um, that's kind of the only downside of Shine Grey is that it doesn't really have any really powerful stacks per se, not like a Chaos Dramon stack or like a Black War X stack or anything, but it's really efficient and one does really cool combos and can put your opponent down to zero security pretty quickly. Uh, so we're just going to build up in the back a little bit since I know I've got the uh, Tamer, the Marcus that can basically swing as a Digimon uh, in the next turn. Um, but just, again, choking our opponent to one every single turn since he's not seeing a Memory Tamer uh, is, I think, the game plan here. So Chikurimon comes down for a cost of zero on top of the Pagu. Um, and then we've got the Skull Knight Cavalier mode, which unironically, I like having never heard of this card, this is probably one of the better cards in the deck. Having Jamming plus, um, I think it gets Reboot or something also, uh, but basically Jamming with the other Skull Knight effect that gets a second attack plus one is pretty crazy. 
Um, just being able to swing security off of a one cost, like you see there, I choked in one. He's still able to check two cards. Goes in the Dark Knight to pass turn. It's got reboot from the Toyagu, blocker from the Nene, and then if it dies, you just play out two things. Like like this deck gets, it can do some things. I think it's just like one or two cards away from being like really competitive. Um, but Dark Knight's a little bit slept on. Like honestly, try it out to your locals, man. I I really think this deck is pretty solid. Um, so we're gonna promote the Marcus for a cost of one. Um, turning into Digimon, so then of course if we do swing, uh, we can do some Shine Greymon shenanigans. I think I've got one of the Shines in hand, but I'm just debating on how to go around this, uh, because if we do swing at the Marcus, we also get minus 1k from the Coromon, a draw from the EX4 Agu, um, and a minus 2k from the Geograde. So depending on how we spread those, um, determines like how we'll be able to out uh, this evolution stack. So I think I'm doing... Um, one of those inherited to the Death X, and then um, the other one to the um, Dark Knight, and then evolving this Shine Grave, so minus 9k on um, the Death X. Um, so I think, yeah, I think we did put the um, the Dark Knight to minus 2, so it's 5k, and then our Marcus is 6k swinging for 2 checks. So if our opponent does decide to block it with the Dark Knight, it will uh, lose out to the Marcus, but he's just going to do it anyways, like you might as well. Um, Pokemon going to trigger, hitting the Nene, unfortunately, and then the Dark Knight being able to play back a couple of cards here. Um, I think the Cavalier mode is like treated as Skull Knight or something. I, I, I do not know what half these cards do, guys, so if there is a misplay at any point, I apologize. It's literally just due to my lack of reading, rather my refusal to read these cards and then we're just gonna end things with the ruin mode to minus 5k so i think the death x was minus 9 and 10 one from the coromon nine from the um the shine greymon previously and then minus five blanket effect will add up to 15 and then deleting the uh, champions as well so i think i did a pretty decent job of just being able to out this but of course having access to the bt10 is it dark nightmon um the one that digicrosses and devolves uh, when you play it is pretty strong um, being able to just out my ruin mode immediately and then I don't get the value off of its effect to be able to you know like swing again trigger another minus 5k um, and then the on deletion effect as well so it's pretty strong stuff uh, we're just gonna go Marcus once again drawing a card swinging for two checks at security um, and then of course if it does die out to anything we will be able to recover um, unfortunately it is going to live both of the checks sometimes you want your Marcus to die um, you know healing would be pretty good in this scenario especially because I am just down to two security um, it's it's a little bit scary um, so we're going to, you know, do that with the Marcus, go burst mode for a cost of zero, burst evolve it by returning a Marcus, you can evolve it for free, but then at the end of the turn you trash the burst mode. Swinging with the Marcus, minus 3,000 on the Dark Knight, and then uh, the Marcus is a 12,000 Digimon with Rush. Trashing the first security off the burst mode effect is pretty crazy because we do dodge the Iron Fisted Onslaught. Um, so, of course, that effect is pretty crazy and um, really strong to be able to get around sec certain security effects because that Iron Fist that would have taken out the burst mode. So, we're going to dodge that, and then I think our opponent is deciding whether to block or not. So, he's going to block, and then that one um, again. I think it, instead of floating, or I think you float in a one and then you add the other to hand, and then this one on play um, looks at top four and adds like two card with Dark Knight and or. Um, Skull Knight or something, it's it, Twilight, you, it's a whole deal, you, you already know. So I was going to reveal some cards, add something, um, and then we're not going to have Lethal here, uh, unfortunately, because uh, I'm going to swing Burst Mode, and uh, we're going to hit an Izzy. So Izzy Hammer sparking us a little bit, revealing top three, I already know everything in his deck is black. And he hits the Grumble Mon, which is just really unfortunate, because my Marcuses didn't die, I can't heal, so I'm at two security. I know he's got the hybrid now, so that's just the game next turn unless I can do something um, like maybe potentially go into another Ruin mode or something, but that's not happening. So we're just going to play another Yellow Boost because I already know it's coming. Um, revealing top four and grabbing any one of those Digimon, of course not going to really do anything now. And then at the end of my turn, the Burst mode will revert back down into just regular Shine Greymon. Really cool mechanic, um, just wasn't enough to save me from Dark Knight apparently. Sometimes you just lose the most random stuff, of, of course, because I wasn't playing around the Death X and all these other things. Not used to the matchup, but anyways, hopefully this was still entertaining for you guys. We are going to swing... Uh, Chikurimon, die to security, the uh, other guy is going to swing, and of course Grumblemon, not even Mercurymon, like at least kill me with the good hybrid, like bro you're still playing Grumblemon, have you updated your deck since BT12 or whatever, I don't know guys, but anyways, hopefully that was enjoyable, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.